and welcome to the WDLT with your co-host, Alasia Thomas. You're listening to the Light Mix at 5. He was a famous trumpet man from all Chicago way. He had a boogie style that no one else could play. He was a top man at his craft, but then his number came up and he was... During the 1940s, when teenagers were doing the jitterbug and Uncle Sam was asking young men to enlist, the Andrew sisters were America's most popular female singing group. Patty, the youngest sister, was a loud and energetic blonde who headed the group with her confident vocals. The We have a clip of exclusive never seen before footage of the Andrew sister performing Metal Leaf with the Supreme. That's right. During a time in American history when racial tension was flaring, the Andrew sisters helped bridge a gap between color lines uniting to bring two extraordinary groups together, creating great music. I tell you, it's it is just a ball. Patty, Maxine, Laverne, may I thank you for coming? Oh, do you guys do you guys know each other, don't you? Oh, of course. Yeah, they're yeah. wonderful. And I, I think it's marvelous that you that you're here because now I would like to satisfy a whim. What whim, Sam? Well, I I would like for you to sing your hits. Oh, Sammy, every time we do a show, everybody wants us to sing the same song. Yeah, we're right. we're kind of tired yeah. of hits too. No, 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 you don't understand. I don't want you to sing your hits. I want you to sing their hits. Yeah. Wow. Oh, wait a minute now. You're putting this on, Sam. Come on. Yeah, what are we going to sing? No, you sing their hits. Come uh, on. No, wait, I'm not putting you on. Oh, no, I take that back. I am putting you <laughs> on. The Supremes, oh, the Andrews sisters right now. Oh, yeah. no. <laughs> <laughs> Each language only helps me tell you how grand you are. Joining us today is the great Sammy Davis Jr. to talk about the Andrew Sisters' career. Thank you for having me on your show today. Patty tired of being a part of a group. In 1954, she left her sisters and attempted a solo career. However, she never matched the success she had with the Andrew Sisters. In Patty's departure, Maxine and Laverne formed their own act. And were all and were well received by both audiences and critics. In 1956, sisters decided to reunite both professionally and personally. They began to experiment with a new sound described as a light rock and roll, which did not gain popularity with the public, who preferred hearing old hits. At this time, the girls were up against a new wave of talent such as Elvis Presley and Chuck Berry, and the sisters did not match their previous success. Thank you so much for your commentary. A blowin' reveille, he's the boogie woogie bugle boy of Company B. They made him blow a bugle for his Uncle Sam. It really brought him down because he couldn't jam. The captain seemed to understand. Because the next day the cap went out and drafted a bat.